Thought I'd make this little video for anybody that likes to repair their own iPod 4th generation, iPod Touch 4th generation. Um, I recently replaced my, my power cable. This is a bad iPod I have here. But the power cable goes underneath, wraps around, ties into the volume up, volume down. It has this ribbon connection here that you have to carefully unsolder and solder. But if you just wanted to test out these four connection points, this is what I wanted to share. Here's your connection points. I labeled them A, B, C, and D. A is your power. B is your volume up button. C is your common. And D is your volume down button. So if you put some, say, sewing pins clipped to your multimeter, you could press them in there press the buttons and test to see if it's, it's the button or possibly the ribbon just part of your troubleshooting so I just recently successfully replaced my power button ribbon cable I think it cost four dollars off of eBay it's a little bit of a pain getting everything out and then the little screws that hold down the volume button and the, and the two screws that hold down the, the power button but uh, it's definitely doable. So if you want to pause it right here on this screen, this is the little schematic I made for that ribbon. And what happened to my ribbon cable in replacing screens, somewhere up in here, I must have twisted it a little bit or whatever, and the ribbon cable tore, and of course broke one of the um, raceways or you know connections for the power button so that's why that wasn't working for me which you can put into a assistive touch mode which I've had for some time now but now it's fixed properly and thought I'd share something helpful